Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, coming to you from a remote studio. Uh, we're going to stay in the mid-Michigan area right now, and one of our old buddies, Jason Cords, executive manager at Shaheen Chevrolet and Shaheen Cadillac in Lansing, Michigan, but really servicing the state of Michigan when you think about it. Jason, welcome. How you doing, bud? Good, Chris. How are you? Good, good. Bitching, right? That's yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk a little bit about how the summer went, as if it the summer's over. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, I got to play a little golf yesterday, so it's beautiful here in in Lansing, and uh, just very proud to be part of Michigan with uh, the season and the leaves changing. Everything's great right now. Uh, we've got lots of cars on the lot, and, and they're still building them. Supply chain's a little iffy still, but uh, yeah. overall. Things are things are turning good. We're just uh, waiting for the election to get behind us so we can focus on everything else and what we've got to deal with and, and move forward. You know, it's kind of interesting because I was going to ask you where where GM is going and where you guys are going with EVs. And you seem to have a great example right there. Hide <laughs> <laughs> me right here if you can uh, or put it in front of me. Uh, this right here, our Silverado. EV this that's the uh, RST package with 24 inch wheels and I'll tell you it's a beautiful beautiful vehicle it resembles the old avalanche that they had that they stopped making in 2013 but uh you know there's they're getting a little aggressive on leasing some of our silver or the EVs now from the Equinox the Blazer some of our best leases are our EV vehicles right now especially the new Lyric with Cadillac no kidding. Yeah. It's, uh, well, that's a good way to get in them and make sure you like them. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, if, if people are a little leery about it, at least they can do it for two years or three years. Don't have to worry about the value. You can hand them off if you, for some reason, want to go back to a gas engine or the world changes. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it does occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> so the transition over to EVs is going... Is there, is there any thought anywhere, or do you guys hear this as dealer organization, about hybrids? Because GM hasn't done a lot in the hybrid area. You know, GM, they they are starting to push a little bit towards the hybrids. but And they, they've had hybrids for longer than most car companies. So it's not going to be difficult for them to, to change a little bit uh, with the CAFE programs that are going on right now. Uh, I think they're waiting to see on the elections also to see how they've got to move because yeah, if the if the current state of what's going on right now stays in place, then the EVs are going to be the move. If it goes the other way, then they'll probably switch hybrid. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So uh, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, infrastructure, supply chain, some of those things. Are they coming back? Because you said there were a few little issues there, and I I. I really think supply chain has been a major cause of inflation. Yeah, and we did dodge a little bit of a bullet with the with the strike with the stormit, you know, yeah. strike, whatever was going on there. And I think they postponed that uh, until January. So there's a lot of negotiating going on right now. We've got some vehicles that are coming from overseas, um, and even from Mexico some of those vehicles being shipped in and once again uh instead of on railway so yeah. depending yeah. on that right now supply chain is okay we're dealing with some parts supply chain issues um but we're pretty fortunate to be the largest in the state number three in the country in gm parts so we're stocking a lot and and so it doesn't affect us as much as it does other dealers so I, I can't I can't go to my place up north without passing three of your vehicles on the way who are <laughs> delivering parts somewhere, you know. When you've got 70 parts trucks on the road, they're they're all over the <laughs> Yeah, they're nice little billboards. Um anything hot coming through in 25? I mean, I have to say that that uh electric uh Silverado is high styling. Yeah, it's a beautiful vehicle, but I'll tell you, probably the hottest vehicle right now, a lot of people are ordering. They redesigned a little bit the Escalade Tahoe Suburban for 25 um, with the new interior screens. They put a little uh, facelift on it, 
and the new IQ Escalade, the all EV Escalade. And it's, it's just such a gorgeous vehicle and we're excited about that, but we're starting to order those vehicles right now. They'll be rolling in in December, January. Our hottest vehicle is probably the Escalade. Wow. Awesome. So uh, service department holding up? Service has been great. Um, always looking for a few extra technicians. You know, we're pretty fortunate to have our own training center here with our eight bay quick lube and tire center. So we start a lot of kids right out of school there and they work their way up to where then they start performing inspections uh, on used cars in our reconditioning department. And then eventually they get their all their degrees and stuff they've got to get. And then we turn them into master technicians. So, you know, for a young guy coming out, young gal, we've got a couple gals that uh, ran through our technician program also. So doesn't matter. We're, uh, we're willing to train people and put the money into them. So uh, Jason Cord's executive manager, Shaheen Chevrolet, Shaheen Cadillac, and Shaheen University, sounds like. All right, buddy. Always good to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Chris. You take care. You too. We'll be right back. I'm Chris Holman on the Michigan Business Network, and you're watching the Michigan Business Beat.